Hey, it's Totally Cody here, back with another TV show reaction, and today we're going to be doing part four of The Big Bang Theory Season 2, alright? I just can't get enough of this show, to be honest with you, and it's kind of hard for me to even explain anything in the intros, because it's all the same stuff. We got such a long show, you know, I'm saying the same repetition here. So basically, I'm just going to cut to the chase, we're going to get right to the reaction. So if you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to The Big Bang Theory on Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch a TV show together. Let's continue The Big Bang Theory. Now, you're the doctor, but I'm constantly hearing this annoying sound. Maybe it's his hey, voice. <laughs> Is it a high-frequency whistle? Lingering bacterial infection from all those childhood toilet swirlies. <laughs> Is that possible? I used to get those all the time. Sheldon, Betty. Even a church? Well, you know, That's even worse. If it is from a swirly, there's something I can do. It's not enough that she mocks me, but that isn't even the correct procedure for a cootie shot. <laughs> do you understand that Stephanie's not here to treat your imaginary ailments? How is it imaginary? <laughs> Good night. Leonard, there's one more thing. Under Article 1, Section 3 of our roommate agreement, I'm calling an emergency meeting. I'd like to begin the meeting by congratulating you on the progress in your relationship with Dr. Stephanie. Well, there you go. Thank you. And that being <laughs> said, has been activated now that the two of you are living together. But we're not living together. I beg to disagree. <clears throat> a girlfriend. He put a whole thing in. Quote, living with, unquote, Leonard, when she has B, more than nine nights in a three-week period, or C, all the weekends of a given month plus three weeknights. You know what? That in that case, me and my boyfriend are living together, if that's, that's what we're absurd. going with. <laughs> you initialed it. Initialed another clause naming you my sidekick in case I get superpowers. <laughs> Yes, you did. Now, <laughs> to review, the vacuuming shall be increased from two to three times a week to accommodate the increased accumulation of dead skin cells. Third, the bathroom schedule. Now, I'm given to understand women have different needs, so we'll have to discuss that. I'm going to bed. But yeah, <laughs> at least take this with you. Look, He's at least listening to him and here, hearing here, about the... Here, here. And... Sheldon proved his point. <laughs> Expansion started way The earth began to cool The autotrophs began to drool Neanderthals developed tools We built a wall it all started with a big bang I'm morally obligated to do that From now on I trust Leonard satisfied you sexually last night oh, <laughs> Sheldon, we don't ask questions like that Which I heard you ask it over and over Oh my god How is it inappropriate for Um, Penny, I live across the hall heard a lot about you. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't heard a thing about you. <laughs> Why is this? Oh, no. <laughs> She's heard about you because we're, you know, involved. And, and you haven't heard about her because I never slept with her, I swear. <laughs> In Leonard's defense, it wasn't for lack of trying. Penny is one of our many neighbors, you know? And, and, and in our building, neighbors come and go. Well, it's very casual, no dress code. Or... Here we go with Sheldon, he's gonna so ruin it. I'll just mosey down to the third floor in my pajamas and I have to get in the shower and Penny has clothes to put on, so. <laughs> well, it was very nice meeting you. Nice to finally meet you too. And I'll see you tonight. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I see the tension rising. Sheldon. <laughs> what could I possibly have done to offend Mrs. Vardabedia? <laughs> That's what he took from that entire thing. Just that. That's all he understood. He's proving to be a valuable roommate. Roommate? You guys oh are my God. together? Like hippies. <laughs> like hippies. Together. Do I have to pull out the paperwork again? <laughs> We're not living together. Yep, she's looking at the closets. Hmm. Yep. Cute dresses. I bet this looks great on you. <laughs> We're not living together. Fuzzy slippers. Ooh, floral bed sheets. Yeah, they're living together. We're not <laughs> living together. Okay, moving on. Uh, who are these guys at Disney World? Well, we got your body lotion, your InStyle magazine, your jewelry box. We're not. Oh Where's God. My bat signal. You have a bat signal? Hey, I that's did. cool. <laughs> Oh my god, we're living together. <laughs> really? What was your first clue? 
the girlfriend's buying clothes for you, huh? Sounds serious. Well, it is, actually. In fact, I gave it a lot of thought, and I decided it was time for us to live together. <laughs> Oh, Leonard. You know what, though? They really should be happy for Leonard that he found a good relationship that he's in. Like, it makes sense. Potential sexual partners. That none of them want the you. Over there? Yes. I can hit on her and you can't. And you're not going to succeed and he probably would. Too bad because she was checking you out before. She was? Of course not. Look at her. One point, Cody. Zero for Wallowitz. All I need is for you to authorize these tests. <laughs> a cardiac stress test, a full body MRI, an electromyogram, a CBC, baseline glucose, upper GI. Yeah, oh, and an oh my God. laparoscopy. Can I at least have the upper GI? No. I already drank the barium. Oh, my God. Sheldon is going to literally oh, ruin God, this relationship. fabric softener? <laughs> Are you washing a crocodile? <laughs> no, the pants that Stephanie got me, sure. Absolutely. Oh my god. Oh no, I wish you'd told me that sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this whole living together happened kind of suddenly, but it's fine, it's great. Okay, Leonard, honey, you know, if you're uncomfortable with the way things are going, you're allowed to say something. Yeah, you're allowed that. I'm sure, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Tell her you need the relationship to move at a pace that you both are comfortable with. Yeah, I could say something like that to her. <laughs> could you? I'll go do that. <laughs> Thank you. He's not going to sure. do it. You have a really good grasp on this. Maybe you could talk to her? <laughs> you're kidding, right? No. Don't do it. No, but that's okay. <laughs> You gotta love Leonard, but then he does he does these things that you're just like, dude, like you got this. You're an adult, you can handle it. Oh no. What? You were right. Your larynx is terribly inflamed. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I knew it. <laughs> what do I do? Is it his tonsils? You're gonna need to stop talking immediately. Oh no. For how long <laughs> Oh, she's doing this on purpose. <laughs> she solved the problem. <laughs> she solved What's the problem. <laughs> I just performed a Sheldonectomy. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me what it is you have to tell me? Don't okay. sit in Sheldon's spot. Um, well, look, it's just that things between you and me have been going pretty quick. It's just a little scary. Well, yeah, but scary good, right? Sure. Uh. <laughs> when is scary not good? <laughs> we move at a pace that is our speed. And... Okay, I see where you're Gosh, trying to I say. It. <laughs> okay, how about this? How about I tell you what I'm feeling? Oh, no. <laughs> she trapped yeah. him. She trapped him. Just eight. Aren't you supposed to wait an hour? No, that's a myth. That's that's swimming. That's for swimming. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, how did the talk with Stephanie go? Well, um, on one level, really, really well. <laughs> His hair is messed up. He just came from sex. You wanted to slow things down? <laughs> the subject got changed somehow. <laughs> you had sex, didn't you? Um, yeah. a bit. <laughs> Oh my god. She's trying to see how long it lasted. Like things are going to work out. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. Everything's going to work out. One way or another. You don't always have to go along with what the woman wants. Exactly. Huh. I know it's a tra it's a strange concept, buddy, Nothing, but I know. Just keep thinking my whole life. <laughs> what do I say to her? You tell her exactly know. what you feel. What have women said to you when they wanted to slow a relationship down? Oh, God. I really like you, but I want to see how things go with Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I totally interrupted you. What were you saying? Oh. Right. Yeah. Um. So, Stephanie. Oh, God. Here comes the speech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Has she heard this before? What speech? I'll call you. 
on Tuesday and then you never call me, so I call you, but you don't call me back. And then when I run into oh you my at God. the coffee shop, you pretend like you've been having problems with your voicemail and I know that you're lying, <laughs> even though I'm dying inside. She just had a whole entire like flashback. Is she okay? I wasn't gonna say any of that. I, I was just gonna say, don't do I really it. Like you, don't do it. Oh, good. Nice sweater. Oh, am I the only one that noticed that? Oh. Stephanie got it for me. It's kind of fun. It's got a big bird on it, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the fun part. Every time I talk to her about moving out, she cries and we have sex. <laughs> You're lucky. With me, it's usually the other way around. Oh my god! Raj, no. If you can't talk to her, why don't you just text her? I think it would be better for our relationship if you moved back to your place. Oh no. There. Oh no. Oh no. Good you for never, you. never do this over yeah. text message. Good for me. I'll never have sex again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, I was wrong. See ya. Where did we get lost in translation? <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon? I have an inflamed larynx. <laughs> okay. We are out of verbal key. Do you have any? <laughs> I like how he does the head motions while he's, okay, while he's talking. <laughs> Some tiny would be nice. <laughs> No, no, no. Tiny? No, no, no. Honey, honey, honey. Honey. Cleans his uniform by flying into Earth's yellow sun, which incinerates any contaminant matter and leaves the invulnerable Kryptonian fabric unharmed and daisy fresh. Was that established? Is that actually in a comic book? I think we can safely assume that all Kryptonian condiments were destroyed when the planet Krypton exploded. <laughs> Or it turned into mustard kryptonite, the only way to destroy a rogue Kryptonian hot dog threatening Earth. <laughs> Superman's body is Kryptonian, therefore his sweat is Kryptonian. Yeah, what about Kryptonian pit stains? <laughs> Superman doesn't sweat on Earth. Okay, he's invited for dinner in the bottle city of Candle. <laughs> Superman says, sure, works up a sweat, comes back to Earth, his uniform now stained with indestructible Kryptonian perspiration. <laughs> Superman would have taken his uniform to a Kandorian dry cleaner before he left the bottle. Why do they have dry cleaning? Kandorian dry I give up. You can't have a rational argument with this man. <laughs> Leonard. Now Raj. <laughs> now Sheldon. Why did he pop up like a bird? His observation of high-energy positrons has provided the first conclusive evidence for the existence of galactic dark matter. I have two words for you. The first is big, the other's whoop. <laughs> it is a big whoop. He's a very handsome man. <laughs> Doesn't do anything for me. If I was gonna go that way, I'm more of a Zac Efron kind of guy. Dang! <laughs> oh, yeah, like Why are me and Howard... No, you know what? I can't even say that, because my guy would be Tom Holland. That's, that's... Well, I am gay, but still. I'm David Underhill. Oh, God. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Gablehauser said if I wanted to set something up in the photo multiplier lab that you'd be able to give me a hand. You want to work with me? Here's my home number. Here's my cell. Here's my office. What the hell? Here's my parents' number up in You New don't Jersey. need all that. They always know how to reach me, so. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw it, too. He fangirled real big time. Seen a hypocrite before? <laughs> I'm like a Fortnite dancer. Oh God, not the old Wii. <laughs> hey guys. in Wii Bowling. <laughs> when my people play sports. <laughs> Where were you That's terrible. Wii Bowling night? Actually, I was... It's a rhetorical question. There is nothing more important than Wii Bowling night. What happened to Halo game. night? Is it on a different night? <gasps> nice motivational speech from the team captain. 
Where were you? Actually, he's pretty cool. I mean, not only is he a brilliant scientist, but it turns out he's a black diamond skier. He collects vintage motorcycles. He plays in a rock band. This guy won so everything. we're in a rock band. Hysterical impersonation of Stephen Hawking having phone sets. <laughs> That's horrible. What are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> That's so anyway, mean. He he's gonna take me. Yep, it's officially a bromance. Yep, there it is. Hey, Sheldon, are you and Leonard putting up a Christmas tree? No, because we don't celebrate the ancient pagan festival of Saturnalia. <laughs> what? Where did that? Pagans brought evergreen boughs into their homes as an act of sympathetic magic, intended to guard the life essences of the plants until spring. Uh, this you know he's not wrong so far. Northern Europeans, and eventually it becomes the so-called Christmas tree. Charlie Brown is what boredom is all about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you for that, but I got you and Leonard a few silly neighbor gifts. You bought me a present? Uh-huh. But why would you do such a thing? Why not? I don't know, because it's Christmas. Oh, Penny. I know you think you're being generous, but the foundation of gift giving is reciprocity. You've given me an obligation. Oh, my God. Don't feel bad, Penny. It's a classic rookie mistake. My first Hanukkah with Sheldon, he yelled at me for eight nights. <laughs> <laughs> Go out and purchase for you a gift of commensurate value and representing the same perceived level of friendship as that represented by the gift you've given me. It's no wonder suicide rates skyrocket this time of year. Oh my God, Sheldon! Don't forget it. <laughs> I know it's funny when it's not happening to us. <laughs> Sheldon, I am very, very sorry. You no, know, no, I brought this on myself. Thanks the for letting me try out your motorcycle. Oh, I thought the gym didn't go well. No problem. I had no idea it was so heavy. Oh, hey, Leonard. Ooh, are you okay? Oh, yeah. It's just a little motorcycle accident. My God, how fast were you going? I don't know. It's all such a blur. It's your motorcycle? Uh-huh. Oh, is it okay? I'm lucky for the bike, it landed on my leg. <laughs> you mind giving me a hand with Speed Racer oh, yeah. here? How do you know Leonard? Here we I'm go. Physicist. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Why is that so surprising? It's just that the physicists I know are indoorsy and pale. <laughs> you know, I love science. Since when? Since always. <laughs> Call me a geek, but I am just nuts for the whole subatomic particle thing. Oh, here we go. The last thing I would ever call you is a geek. You know, I have always wanted to see a big science lab. Since when? Since always. <laughs> you okay here? Uh, yeah, I guess. How about we go see it now? Maybe afterwards we take the boy she'll do, huh? <laughs> Oh my god. Um, if you like that type. So, you and her? No, just neighbors. Really? Okay, let's go. All right. See you tomorrow, Leonard. See ya. Bye, Penny. Have fun. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Did you forget your key? Yeah. <laughs> Anything in here a woman would want. You're kidding. You've got lotions and bath oils and soaps. Uh, that's the estrogen hat trick. What do you think I want for Christmas? All this stuff. Sheldon, if you don't like this stuff, let's just go next door and build her a bear. <laughs> I told you before, bears are terrifying. Presupposes Penny is tense. Oh, she knows you. She's tense. We all are. Buy a basket. <laughs> Excuse me. We're ready. You, no, we're not. Let's say for a moment that I accept the bath item gift hypothesis. I'm sorry. Uh, this one. Let's <laughs> have insufficient data to proceed. Excuse me, miss. Yes. Excuse me. Here. Now, are we friends, colleagues, lovers? Oh my God, my Sheldon! Whoa! Making me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> he sounds just like you and Penny. We'll take it. Hey, Leonard. Dave is just showing me around the university. You know, this place is unbelievable. Yeah, I know. I've been offering to show you around for a year and a half. You always said you had yoga. She has a curious and agile mind. Not to mention being curious and agile in other respects. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, please shut up. <laughs> So, um, Dave. Actually, I was thinking about taking the afternoon off so I could work on another experiment with Penny. Really? We're, we're gonna do an experiment? Uh-huh. 
We're going to explore the effects of tequila shots on a gorgeous 22-year-old woman. <laughs> wow. <laughs> experiment you saw what happened last night. Is she 22? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he bought all of them. I will open her gift to me first, and then excuse myself feigning digestive distress. Then, what? I'll look up the price of her gift online, choose the basket closest to that value, give it to her. <laughs> Is it okay if I hide them in your room? That smell makes me nauseated. Am I the only one that's a little curious as to why Sheldon's not freaking out that that's his spot on the couch? That Leonard has a leg on. I've just done what Leonard did and get Penny a new boyfriend. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's terrible. My leg is killing me, thanks for asking. <laughs> is she by herself? Okay, I have just one question for you. Well, I am perfectly happy with the way things are between us. You said that you didn't want to go out with me because I was too smart for you. Well, a railroad spike into his brain for me to beat him at checkers. <laughs> Next to him, I'm like one of those sign language gorillas who knows how to ask for grapes. <laughs> so That's... my question is... Why? What's up with that? Why are you yelling at me? Sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, never mind, we're cool. What happened? <laughs> Dave is not smarter than you. He's an idiot. Really? Uh-oh. Why, Why would that? happen? The guy is married! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> you, if you are so okay with the way things are between us, why are you so jealous? Because he's not okay with it. Smooth. <laughs> Smoother than you. <laughs> well, it's Christmas. Just give me this one. Merry Christmas. Aww. By the way, my leg is killing me. Thanks for asking. <laughs> oh no, here we go. Merry Christmas. Oh, I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be Dave. Thanks for asking. Come on in. Oh, good, Penny. You'll be pleased to know I'm prepared for whatever you have to offer. Okay. Here. Oh. Oh. A napkin. Turn it over. What is that? What is it? To Sheldon. Live long and prosper. Leonard Nimoy. Yo. Into the restaurant. I possess the DNA of Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> He's not even prepared for the gift that is going to equate to that. There's no way. And I can grow my own Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> okay, all I'm giving you is the napkin, Sheldon. <laughs> oh, the gift certificate for motorcycle lessons. <laughs> That's good. That's Very funny. thoughtful. Yeah, and I checked. Not letting the bike fall on you while standing still is lesson one. 101 totally cool science experiments for kids. <laughs> to do all those experiments. <laughs> you know, because you're so into science. <laughs> He's going to give her all of them. <laughs> he's not enough. Oh, he's gonna hug her. <laughs> it's a Saturnalia miracle. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That's the last servo. Behold, the mobile omnidirectional neutralization and termination eradicator. Oh my god. Or Monty. Monty. We'll steal armor plate, exoskeleton, top and bottom, and enough horsepower to drive 110 pounds of mechanized death from zero to holy crap in 4.8 seconds. <laughs> Is it wrong to say I love our killer robot? Gold spoiler alert before you say things like that. <laughs> How about the toaster oven? What did the toaster oven ever do to you? What did I ever do to Jimmy Mullins in the third grade? He still punched me in the face with my own fists. Oh my god. <laughs> we need the appropriate words to mark this historic scientific event. Let's destroy it. How about 
die toaster die. Yes. Oh my god. Oh no. Just completely destroyed it. No, I think I'm just gonna stay in tonight and do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This store got the full Monty. <laughs> uh huh. What the hell? <laughs> a killer robot. We built it. Yeah, well, it almost killed me. Who exactly does it want to kill? I'm sorry. Are you unaware of the upcoming Southern California Robot Fighting League Round Robin Invitational? Yes, I am very unaware of that. Yeah. I know the other fellows would be really excited to see a girl there. How is it supposed to be a dance if I'm the only girl? Well, I, that may be a slight exaggeration. You'd be the only doable girl. Oh my God. <laughs> Once again, Penny and I have begun our little tango. No. Our, our tango? The carnal repartee, the erotic to and fro, but nope. Yeah, she's gotta hit him. As the appetite. Excuse me, Penny, <laughs> but in this room, you're the one who's peculiar. <laughs> That's true, actually. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> but back to you. I know you think you're some sort of smooth talking ladies man, but the yeah. truth is, you are just pathetic and creepy. Um. So what are you saying? <laughs> you know. Dancing a tango. We're not. We're not tooing and froing. Nothing is ever going to happen between us ever. Wait a minute. This isn't flirting. You're serious. No. This is exactly what he needed to hear. Howard, where are you going? I'm going home to live my creepy, pathetic life. You know what? No. Don't play wow. the feeling bad well, soundtrack. Okay. Someone had to say it. Exactly. I've been saying it since season one. Uh, he said maybe we should enter you in the killer robot competition. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though, Howard, get over it. You needed to say you need to hear that. Howard, the phone is ringing. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I don't have homework. I'm a grown man with a master's degree in engineering. Want me to get you a popsicle? Cherry, <laughs> please. <laughs> I ate the cherry. All that's left is green. You Those are good. Kill myself. <laughs> Despite his hard and crusty shell, Howard is a very sensitive man. Do you know he writes poetry? That's What's a new one. Men from Nantucket and home it's named Dave. <laughs> but he does it with real sensitivity. If you have any delusions about entering him against my Wobot, the Quipkey Quippler, in the Southern California okay. Wobot Fighting League Round Wobin Invitational. There's a special place in hell for me if I laugh at this guy's voice, but I'm sorry. Your robot is inferior and it will be defeated by ours because ours exceeds yours in both design and execution. <laughs> Also, I'm given to understand that your mother is overweight. Oh my god. That's not just trash talk. That oh, was personal. Snap. Now, of course, if that is the result of a glandular condition and not sloth and gluttony, I withdraw that comment. Let's settle this wabato a wabato. What do you mean? There's no guarantee we're going to go against each other in the wound wobbin, so let's slow down. Oh, Barry, we can't fight you tomorrow. Our engineer is incapacitated. What's wrong with him? He's depressed because he's pathetic and creepy and can't get girls. <laughs> that's that's pretty yeah. accurate. That's why we fight robots. <laughs> no, that's actually incorrect because Leonard had a girlfriend die, twice. And I think he still has the other one. What part of America is that accent from? <laughs> it's not. It's a, it's a lisp, I think. Hey, you got a minute? Yeah, come on in. What's up? I need you to apologize to get Howard. Get out. <laughs> Come on, Wallowitz won't come out of his house and we need him for a robot battle. The robot didn't hurt his feelings. His feelings yeah, well, the robot... He's been yeah. in bed for two days. Yeah, Who Ron cares? With a blow up doll. He's not with a... Please, how could I possibly devastate Howard? 
Okay, don't take this as a criticism, but you do kind of have that overexposed to gamma rays thing going on. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Most of the time, you're the easygoing Bruce Banner, but then when you get angry, you kind of turn into like, you know. <laughs> Howard was saying extremely misogynistic things, and literally Penny put him in his place. That is what happened here. He is a grown man. He needs to grow up and change his perspective on things. Hopefully, this is his character development arc. Okay, let's try it this way. Remember the day that we first met and you asked me to go to your boyfriend's apartment to get your TV back and he was nine feet tall and he took my pants off and you said, <laughs> what was that? What did you say? Owed me one. Oh. Uh, okay, well, that's not fair. <laughs> I came home with no pants. Fine, I'll go over there tomorrow. Thank you. We give you a heads up about his mother. What about her? She's a delightful woman. You will love her. Okay, now she's saying it's Penny. I don't want to talk to her. Hey, Ma, she ran past me. Was I supposed <laughs> to tackle her? Your mom seems nice. People move away from her on the bus. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, look, Howard... I don't agree with this, but okay. For some things that I have said. <laughs> about you. And apparently I have hurt them. So, I'm sorry. He deserved it. I'm sorry, but he I, did. I'm a big boy. I'm not traumatized by some random comment from some random woman. I mean, get over yourself. Wow, see... So close. You can see the Quibbly is reducing the Chevy Cavalier to wobble. I can't watch anymore. Uh, Sheldon, we have to call it off. We don't have that option. We've accepted the challenge. We can't run away from a fight. Oh, please. We've spent our whole lives running away from fights. <laughs> Personally, I can squeeze through a hole in a fence half my size. Sheldon, did we all not just watch the same video? Could be his robot just had angry sex with a mid-sized automobile. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are overlooking the fact that we now know what we're up against, and we can modify Monty so that he's prepared. Have you heard from Benny yet? Not yet. Have faith, gentlemen. We don't need Wallowitz. Engineering is merely the slow, younger brother of physics. Watch and learn. Do either of you know how to open the toolbox? <laughs> and then when I was 14... Oh my god, here we go. Okay, maybe I'm being a little rough on Howard, but I mean, he said some very hurtful things and offensive things. So, like, I think he er he deserved it, but maybe not to this degree. Maybe I was wrong. Like a sexy little chipmunk. <laughs> what is happening I right now? I have the courage to ask her out. When it's cold outside, Marcy Grossman is the month of May. Oh, my God. Oh, cute. I guess you'd say what? Can make me feel this way. <laughs> Marcy Grossman. And then she came up with that sexy little chipmunk mouth. Oh no. And, and she hit him in the face. Hair. Oh god. <laughs> Do you think maybe sometimes you try too hard? <laughs> Look at me. What chance do I have if I don't try too hard? Oh, look, I'm telling you, I've known you for like a year and a half, and this is the first time I feel like I'm talking to a real person. And you know what? I like him. You really think so? Yes. I don't know. No, I do. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no, she's going to hit him. Oh, no. <laughs> She's gonna hit him. Oh God! <laughs> At 3,400 RPM, it can cut through steel like it was wubba. <laughs> Neat. Good work. It's humiliating wedgies and the insensitively named Indian burns. <laughs> well, that stops now. But Sheldon, we don't have a chance. The only improvement you're able to make on the robot was to put fresh batteries in the remote. Kripke will fall easy prey to my psychological warfare. You observe. Kripke! <laughs> I would 
ask if your robot is prepared to meet its maker, but as you are its maker, clearly the two of you have met. I don't know what that was supposed to be, but okay. What is his problem? <laughs> Way to bust out the Jedi mind tricks, dude. This is a sweet fight. The sweet has no rules. Wait, Wait what? The paradigm is to the death. Oh my god. Will, however, give me the opportunity to concede my superiority now and offer me your robot as the spoils of war. Ready, set, go. Come on, Sheldon, you got this. Indeed. Uh oh. Oh, it's a torch. I wonder what that was. That's new. <laughs> 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 oh. Well, so much for making up for the emotional wounds of childhood. <laughs> I did this. This is my fault. It's okay. No one's arguing with you, dude. <laughs> I got your text. How bad is oh, yeah. oh my god. Forget the robot. What happened to you? He slipped and fell. <laughs> I slipped and fell in the bathroom. <laughs> Bounce right off the tub. <laughs> Sucker punch you when your eyes are closed. <laughs> so, what do you think, Howard? It's not that bad, right? Trickle tape, some solder. Are you insane? I've seen <laughs> space probes that crashed into the desert that were in better shape than this. <laughs> You're right. It's a simple ceremony. I'll speak. Leonard, you'll play your cello. What? Sheldon, honey, aren't you getting a little carried away? I mean, it's just a toy robot. Just a oh, no. toy robot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sheldon. Penny. I know, I got it. Well, don't get the wrong idea. The way I see it, I'm halfway to pity sex. <laughs> he didn't learn anything. Didn't learn anything. All right, so that was part four for season two of Big Bang Theory. <laughs> it's same thing. Just it's been. It's just so much fun. And honestly, I, I don't know. A lot of you, I already guarantee by the time I make this outro and the time that you guys already see this, there's gonna be like 50 of you that have already typed and been like, "Why are you so rude to Howard? He's so cool." No. Let me explain something to you, okay? He was very misogynistic for the entirety of the show so far. Does he have some commentary and some funny moments? Yeah, of course he does. But he's kind of a jerk. And like, whether or not there's a reason for that, it doesn't excuse the fact that he still does it. And then Penny punched him in the face and he's still doing it. Like, come on. We, why, 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 I don't know. I know he's doing his job as the character he's supposed to kind of not be liked at this point yet. But I mean, I gotta imagine he's gonna have some sort of character arc here. You know, maybe he needs to find a girlfriend or something. I don't know. But I will not apologize for saying that he deserved it because he did. Okay. If that was me talking to a woman like that, you better believe somebody better, somebody better think that they need to hit me because yeah, needs to be done. But if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, like I said at the beginning of this video, go ahead and check for the link down in the description. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you all next time. Remember everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.